Uh, shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you may have uh, watched the earlier video about me trying to reconstitute a lead acid battery. Uh, that thing was absolutely shot. Uh, so I ended up buying one. I thought I was doing pretty good to find one at about a third of the price uh, for a new battery. Uh, I just took the dimensions off the old one and started shopping dimensions, and I found what I needed. Uh, I'm not sure what the dimensions were, uh, but the the point being that it's going in a Harley Davidson Sportster, and those are very, very expensive batteries if you buy them from Harley. So I thought I was doing good to get a $39 battery off the internet, uh, thanks to eBay. And what you're looking at here is I dumped the acid pack in, uh, and there's these uh, little, I don't know what they are. Um, you, they use those to uh, pierce the, the acid pack, and then you load the battery with them. And I've removed four of them. I'm in the process of moving the other, removing the other two so I can actually see down in there. And as you can see with me, uh, those plates are not even covered with acid. Okay, so the point is that what they did was they sent um, an inadequate acid pack for this battery. And so they left me stranded because I can't put it into the bike and start it up. It's charged. It's ready to go. But I can't utilize it until I finish this work. i got to take those out, and then i got to fill the battery up about to cover the plates uh, I'm not gonna I'm gonna use distilled water I'm not gonna add more acid I'm just gonna use regular distilled water to, to cover them up and uh, then I should be able to reconstitute the the, uh, the battery fully and the other thing I noticed about this bargain battery is there's no vent tube on it the original one came off here here somewhere so, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe uh, I have to figure something out, take the battery out for service, and just check for things. Looks like it's got a couple of micro ports near, the, near these uh, posts. But like I said, I was real disappointed to see that the acid didn't even cover up the cells. Look at that. Isn't that a shame? That's a scandal. The battery manufacturers in the business of selling a battery... So they'll shortcut it, and the ignorant consumer doesn't know any better. And so a battery will go one year, and then they'll go through the whole thing over again uh, in the second year. Now, if they do it correctly, the battery will last two to five years. That's good news if you do it correctly. It's worth investing the little extra time to make sure the thing is done properly. Just don't throw it right in and, and uh, go riding. Thanks for tuning in, and... and uh, I'll let you know what's going on otherwise. Shalom.